God's living. It's, it's just got to be done. Hi, I'm Jennifer. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm glad you came. I hope you stick around. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. It's that time again. It's the end of the month. I've got some empties. This is probably going to be a short video because I don't have that many. But the first one made me sad. This is the raw sugar body wash and lemon sugar. Huge thing of body wash. Should have lasted me so long. Unfortunately, someone didn't close the lid and it got knocked over in the shower and it sat there all night long laying on its side and most of it went down the drain. It was very sad. I did like this. It wasn't drying. I love the smell of, of lemon, any citrus fruit. I love that smell. So I did like this. I bought it at Target. It says it is cold press pure technology something. I don't know. Made from a natural coconut and plant-based blend for pure skin nutrition. I don't know that it gave my skin any nutrition, but it smelled nice and it didn't dry out my skin. And I was so sad when it all went away. That was awful. I don't know if I'll buy this one again or not. I have quite a bit of shower gel. I am a junkie. All right. What well, we have here, the Equate Makeup Remover Wipes. Um... I don't really use these for removing makeup. I use them to, you know, when I've got fallout to catch that or to wipe off swatches and things like that. I use a cleanser to take off my makeup most days. Now, occasionally if I'm lazy or tired or it's very late, I will use them to take off my makeup. They work okay for that. They're, they're not great. I will say that if I try and remove my eye makeup with them, they burn my eyes. So, um, they're okay for what I use them for. They wouldn't be okay, I don't think, for anything else. Does that make any sense? I don't know. What's next? The Dr. Brandt Pore Durabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. We got this in a boxy charm. I would never in a million years have bought this. It was like 50 something dollars for that little tube. Um, it was okay. Even if I had that kind of disposable money, I could just fling around $50 here and $50 there. I still wouldn't go back and buy this. It's not that special. It did exfoliate my face, sure, but lots of things exfoliate my face. And it had some kind of strong menthol-y smell that burned my eyes. And I am, um, as we've discussed a million times, my skin right here stays raw from early fall until late spring because I, I have bad allergies. When that menthol -y thing hit that raw skin right there, oh my god, it hurt. I, I wouldn't use that again. I used it up. I was just careful not to use it there. It was nice. It was cool. I'm glad I got to try a product from Dr. Brandt. I wouldn't buy it. What's next? This is not completely empty, but it's not spraying very well anymore. It's the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, I don't know. It's okay. I like the spray on it. It was very fine. It was a nice little mist. It was uh, it was pleasant. I I said before. I does setting sprays really do anything for anybody? I don't know if they make my makeup last any longer or not. It just seems like my makeup lasts about the time that it lasts, and then it needs to be washed off. I don't know. And I probably won't buy this again. I probably won't. I'm gonna stop buying setting sprays because if I can't tell if they're doing anything, that's kind of a waste of money. And there's a lot of lipstick out there that needs a good home. So I'm the girl. Oops. The number seven lift and illuminate foundation. I loved this. Look, I used a whole thing of foundation. There's a teeny tiny bit left up there, but I can't really get it out. Um, this was wonderful foundation. I have normal-ish skin. I get a little oily here. Um, I'm super dry here, but other than that, it's, I guess it's combo skin. This was beautiful on my skin. I never had a bad makeup day when I wore this. Um, I loved it. I am currently using another foundation from, uh, I believe the company is called Alcone. <clears throat> it's Limelight. I'm loving it a lot. So, uh, I don't know if I'll repurchase this one or not. We'll have to just see how I, if I continue to love the one from Limelight or not. But if you are looking for a very, very reasonably priced foundation from the drugstore with gorgeous coverage, try this one. It's not heavy. It's, it's a medium coverage. It's buildable. I loved it. All right. This one is the Too Faced Mascara Melt-Off. 
the pot, top part of my lid got lost. This is wonderful. I wear mas I wear waterproof mascara every day. I never even bother with buying unwaterproof mascara. My eyes water all the time, and it won't stay on. So uh, I take my waterproof mascara off with this. What the way they tell you to use it is to put it on, let it sit for a minute, and then come back. So I will brush this on. It goes on um, kind of like mascara, like that. It's just got this little plastic wand. You just brush it on your lashes. Usually what I do, I brush it on my lashes and I go brush my teeth or wander around the bedroom and do something silly for a few minutes. And then I come back with my regular uh, water, my regular eye makeup remover and a cotton pad and just gently take it off and it comes right off. I don't have to tug, I don't have to pull, it just melts it off and it conditions your lashes. So if you are using waterproof mascara every day like me, you know that that can be really drying. So this definitely helps with that. That's it. I just bought a new one. This is a repeat. This is the Japanesque Makeup Brush Cleanser. I believe the last time I had an empty one of these, I said that I had bought a Revlon one because I um, wasn't able to get this. And I remembered liking the Revlon one, but now that I'm using it again, I don't. I'm gonna use it up because I have it, but when I spray my brushes with the one from Revlon, the next day, they're hard. They're kind of crunchy and I have to, you know, fluff them back up. With this one, I don't get that problem. Um, it, my brushes are clean. This has a nice citrus scent. I love that. Um, they have another one I think that's rose or something like that. I don't like that smell. This is a fantastic brush cleaner. It does not make my brushes stiff. It gets all the makeup that I can see out of them and I love it and I will continue buying this one. I have one in backup because they were on sale. Um, but yeah, when the Revlon one's gone, I'll go back to this and I probably won't switch again. Could not remember if I liked this dry shampoo, so I bought a really tiny one. This is the Bat Batiste. It always sounds like I'm about to say something ugly. Batiste dry shampoo. This is the original formula. This one is great. This is fantastic. I don't know what it is about some dry shampoos, but they seem to make my hair oily. It looks dirtier and it weighs them down, and I have several that I'm trying to get through in the drawer um, so I can just never have those again, but this is great. My big trick is that I've got very fine, very baby hair, but it does get oily at the roots. So when I remember, I will spray my hair down, you know, all around the, the hairline and the roots before I go to bed and let it sit all night. So when I wake up in the morning, one, my roots aren't greasy, and I wind up with this really full hair and think this is what other people's lives must be like that have lots of hair. It's wonderful, I love it. Um, I bought the one for blonde hair when I when I bought another one. I'm so far, I'm really liking that one. Getting close to the end, and I think all of these things are a repeat. This is a small uh, sample size of the number seven Lift and Luminate Day Cream. Love this, love this, love this. I can't wear it in the summer usually because it's, it's a heavy, it's a cream. But in the wintertime when my skin gets really dry, it's fantastic. When you buy the regular size, it comes in a tub, and that's the only thing I don't like about it. I have to dig in there with my spatula, and I, I don't love that. It's not a big deal. I would rather have it in a tube like this, but this is fantastic. does wonders for my skin. I've already bought another one. I wonder how many of these I go through in a year. We should pay attention. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Lash Paradise Mascara. I try other mascaras from time to time because I just think maybe there'll be something out there that I like as well. There isn't. I love this mascara and even though it's a waterproof formula, my lashes don't get crispy and crunchy. They still feel soft like actual lashes. It stays. It doesn't flake. It doesn't run away. I love this and you know it's on sale all the time and I think the regular price it's right around ten dollars but when it's BOGO you know you get it for five. One for five, one for ten. You know what I mean? Gosh. Fantastic mascara, can't recommend it highly enough. Already have another one. What have we here? The Maybelline Brow Drama. In the, this is okay, I won't buy it again. Um, it's just, it's a, a brow gel sort of thing. I did like the, the applicator, the little round applicator because I have very, very thin brows. Um, it adds a little bit of color, which was good, and this is a good color, it's a nice cool brown but it doesn't seem to hold my brow hairs in place and what little brow hairs I have are crazy. 
they just they go in every direction like caterpillars on my head. So I need something that will lock those babies down. This wasn't it. It was okay. If you've got brows that behave themselves, you might like it. I didn't care much for it. Last thing. This is a Real Techniques makeup sponge. Uh, this one's probably oh, it's at least six months old, I know, and it may be closer to nine months old, which is bad. You're not supposed to keep them that long, but I, I keep mine super clean, so I feel like I can get away with it, but this one, as you can see, has been cleaned a little too thoroughly, a little too many times. It's coming apart. It's not blending as well as it used to because it's old. Bless you, little thing. You served me well, but you got to go. That's it. That's all the empties I have. Um, if you've watched this entire video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed, I hope you will con consider doing so. Is there anything else I need to tell you people? I can't think of anything. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.